Okay. Here is ready. I'm gonna put. Gather them today, which I enjoy having a garden and eating fresh. All right, here is the squash, the butternut squash, right there. This one I did not plant, which I just throw the seed last year and throw them on the ground. Just you know, just to throw them on the ground. And see what happened. All the snow and everything, it survived. And here is the bloom over here. And here are some of the baby. There's the baby right there. But you know what? Some plants need to have a place to grow so here is the, the squash growing right through over there so I am going to harvest this one big one So here is the beans. I am going to cook this squash today so I can enjoy while it's fresh and it's easy to clean and it's easy to cut. is stink. That's the good thing when you married an American or when you married a foreigner and they are not used of your food. So what I what I did is I just get my stuff here at the back door which is open area and uh, I just cook it over here so it won't be stinky in the house. I know it's a different background but uh, it's gonna be stinky in the house, so I just prefer to do it here outside. I 
am going to cook the squash and this is the squash and this is the beans so I have cut up pork onions uh, salt ginger chicken bullion and this is a shrimp paste garlic preheated pan as always so make sure your pan is hot and then I drop some uh, cooking oil and then I have the garlic it's probably better when you make the garlic like brown a little bit it make a lot of taste different and I just dump the onions and then the ginger after that I just gonna let it uh, brown it for a little bit and make it all the the scent it smells so good and just stir them up a little bit then after that I put the chicken bullion which is chicken bullion makes the taste better and I just dump the pork I cut up in a like square so those of you who don't like pork just you know use any kind use beef or use chicken whatever it suit you in your taste so I'm just gonna browning the the fork let it brown and I put a salt in there then it stir up together then I have put a black pepper those of you who are cooking this food you probably know how to do it but I love this uh, recipe because it's from my mom and after the meat is brown dump the shrimp paste which is this is a uh, Filipino style cooking so if you don't like a shrimp shrimp paste you can also substitute it with uh, maybe tomato paste tomato paste is really good with squash also so here it is I just finish up dumping everything in there and let it cook for just a little bit more so the shrimp paste will be browning a little bit and then I just dump the squash this is an old recipe so squash and then I dump the beans in there uh, pardon me if I have gloves but I have to use gloves because I just and then I put the water in there and then let it simmer cover it up simmer up for a few minutes you don't have to overcook it it's like if it I like the beans crunchy and the squash is like uh, more like it's not overcooked so here it is this is the outcome of beans butternut squash with shrimp paste and pork thanks for watching god bless you and i will see you in the next video bye bye